Greetings. I thought, because somebody messaged me the other day, said, when do I put stuff in? So I'm going to give you a little one, autumn wand around the plot and planting and preparing and poo, I guess. <laughs> the three P's for an allotment. But first, I was walking past this a little while ago and this is the tiniest little cauliflower you have ever seen. It's about not even as big as a golf ball. Look at that. But that's my cauliflower success story for this year. <laughs> so we'll put that there. Mustn't forget it. Right, this time, it's the time of year to plant garlic. So I've got my garlic bed here. This is where the strawberries were last year. So we rotate, rotate, rotate. I'm not going to plant anything under the fig tree this year because nothing grew there last year. But this is, as, as you appreciate, this is what a bulb of garlic looks like. And inside that you've got about 12, maybe 14 good size cloves. And so literally it's just a pop them in halfway down just so the top's coming out. Voila, simple as that. I will put some glass over there. We had some torrential rain yesterday, but under here it's still really quite dry for some reason. So uh, I will give those, I'll get those out. I'll get about 25 in there, put the glass over it, give it a good water, give it a head start. <clears throat> it being the 25th of October, we shouldn't be seeing this. That's a ripe fig. This is like, no, and just to prove that it's ripe. Mm. Oh, that is so lovely. But October, come on guys, this is all wrong. Move on, yeah. That is slightly overripe. We've still got some lovely artichokes out here. I normally leave them for the bees, but uh, as the weather's turned, there's not many bees around. Did you did see one earlier? So they're coming out today. I've got a couple of courgettes over there that are still coming on. They'll last a week or so by the looks of it. We've got the asparagus that I've just tied up to stop it flopping around. I'll leave these up until the spring. But this is my baby asparagus that I planted from seed. Um, I wanted to get it out earlier, but I haven't. So that's going to go in the greenhouse just for the winter. We come up to the Brussels sprouts. Yay! Look at this. I, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up. That's white fly. Look at it. Horrible stuff. This time of year you need to be dropping off the bottom leaves just to give it some room. Only problem with leaving them, which I tend to leave them, is if there's still slugs around they'll hide underneath it so up to you whether you um, clear it up or not this is a bit of a mystery this is the artichokes obviously more they're coming out today look at this plant here this is an artichoke it's a giant little plant it hasn't borne any fruit this year it doesn't really look the same similar, at least I think it's an artichoke, it could be some throwback from prehistoric times for all I know, but we're going to leave that in and uh, and see what it does. Apples are all stripped off, I've trimmed the apple back already, I don't know if I'm supposed to do it this time of year, but I did, and, and these get tied in now, so we've got this nice dwarf plant, I had about 20 kilos off this one um, tree that was dead. So uh, not doing too bad. I'm going to walk down the centre now. We've still got loads of beautiful chrysanthemums. So doing okay there. And I've stripped all the um, sunflower heads off this morning. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those. Maybe somebody's got some pet rats or something that they want to take them. But um, if you leave them on, Yes, the birds will have them. That's great, but they will fall all over the place and you'll have sunflowers growing all over the place. We don't necessarily want that. Left a few up there for the birds. It's also the time of year. Oh, we've still got 
I'm going to pick that one because it's some really quite usable uh, green peppers on here. These are supposed to be red and yellow, but and I don't think they're going to last much longer now. So I am. I, I picked about 30 a couple of weeks ago. But look, there's loads of them on here still. So they're all going to get picked today and go on the windowsill. Maybe they'll colour up. I don't know. Also, the time of year for getting your onions in. I use sets. I don't use seed. Um, and again, there's loads of manure under here. It's, it's really just a question of sticking them in. I'd stick them in about eight inches apart because I like to get as many into the space as I can. And even with the infestation of white fly from the Brussels sprouts, the purple Brussels sprouts, I think to add, had a colour theme this year. Everything was purple. Purple cabbage, purple cauliflowers that weren't up to much purple Brussels sprouts. What colour shall I do next year? Suggestions on a postcard. <laughs> so we're going to get the onions in today. What we're also going to do today is I've dug this trench out <coughs> for, so this is about preparation for next year. This is where the runner beans are going next year. So I've dug a trench along here which is where all of the plants are going to go and this is not poo, this is grass cuttings. And we're lucky enough here to get loads and loads and loads delivered from I think the local golf course. And they cut and they put it in bags for us so it starts to rot down in the bags. Runner beans love rotted grass. So that's the, the, the beginning of the preparation for next year. Though. What else have we got? That's about it really. We've got, oh, we've got a new greenhouse, which you may have heard about <laughs> in the past. We've got the broad beans coming on here. So that's the other thing. You can either, you can put them out, but they take a little while to germinate. So I just bring them on in the, uh, in the greenhouse. We've also still got some cucumbers hanging on in there. And if you follow this round to so this little tiny weedy plant over this side, and I've got all this foliage still on this side. This is the last of the three. All the tomatoes are gone now. But uh, the new greenhouse you will see, I've dug out all down this side, all down that side, and all down this side, about a spade depth. Soil going in there, and then I've got pots that I'm going to chop the bottoms out of the pot and grow my tomatoes straight in the top of there. Um, or I can plant them straight in. I've got a new bit to go across here um, because we're um, this bit's kind of gone rotten and fallen to pieces. So, we're, so once that's done, then then that's it. My camera person was pointing over here for some reason. What was she? Canes. Okay, preparing, preparing, more preparing for next year. Um, this all fell down and came to pieces. So. Just going to put these stakes up in here, dig this over, um, and maybe the sunflowers will go here next year, uh, or something tall, just to create a screen. So, uh, so this year, this time of year, it's about preparing for next year. It's about getting things in ready. I've had loads. Of, I haven't mentioned poo, so, so <laughs> let me let me show you some poo. Just so you can. <laughs> Is a pile of poo. <laughs> now I've I've dug in probably 20 big wheelbarrow loads of poo into this bit so far. I've still got a couple of little bits to dig, but never underestimate the power of poo. It's uh, it, it's what makes things grow. And the very last thing, more out of season stuff, is I, I planted some late peas, and they're all in flower. So. Okay, they're, they're not going to really do much, but uh, who knows, we might have peas. Oh, and potatoes. Whoop. A couple of weeks ago, I planted two rows of Christmas potatoes. don't like the C word, Yule potatoes. Uh, they haven't come up yet. I don't know if they will or not, but it's always worth a try. Um, and the last thing, this grew on its own. I've got no idea how come it did. White fly infestation again. I think it's purple sprouting. 
but we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt and we're going to leave it. So, uh, so that's it really. If you would like to ask me any questions about allotment hearing, I may or may not be able to answer them. Somebody said I was an expert, but hey, it's, it's nice being an expert. <laughs> I'll Google it. Um, it's, a, it's a bit of a yeah, wet day on the plot, so uh, we can't really tell you much more. Happy gardening. Have a good weekend. Take care.